What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Trainer one and welcome to my walkthrough for Hitman Episode 6, Hokkaido. I know you guys are going to enjoy this, guys. This is the most fun that I have had on Hitman ever. This episode is absolutely amazing, and you're going to love it. I have found two unique ways to show off for you guys, and we're going to be doing a guide on both of those. It is a very, um, some very cool, unique deaths. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. We're going to go ahead and get right into the episode. There is no planning. You can't bring anything into the actual mission itself um, and we won't need to because we're going to do it all just from using our brain so hopefully you guys enjoy ladies and gents it is time to do mission citus inverses hopefully you guys enjoy and of course it's go time good morning 47 the board has sanctioned eric sodas for termination after colorado we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as Situs Inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Sodas in the operating theater undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. This is not a speed run. I'm not going to show you the fastest way to do it. But in order for these two unique kills to match up with each other, you do need to be rather quick. First thing we're going to be doing is running over here. We're going to need to go down a pipe, and that pipe is going to take us to one of the more restricted areas. This is a beautiful level, so I recommend you guys watch my live stream that I did on it, uh, showcasing pretty much the whole level and letting you guys take a look at it and see what there is to offer. Make sure you stay to the right because of the camera there. So we're going to go down here. Yeah. So as soon as you get in here, make sure you grab the neuro chip. We're going to be needing it later. Without that chip, then you will not be able to complete the way that I plan on doing it. So I do show two different ways of completing this level in the live stream. So this is completely new for those of you that think maybe I'm doing the same thing as I did before. This is two different unique kills. So here, you want to watch out. That's a little Cameron. harsh, isn't it? Make sure you a stay to the right. Man? I don't know. Maybe it did die. All right, so we're going to be waiting here a little bit. Right now, the level kind of needs to kind of get into its groove. So the characters are running around, they're doing different things, but we need to wait. So let me explain what's going to happen. We're going to be doing two birds with one stone in this section here. We need to set up the second kill before we complete the first kill. There is a unique opportunity uh, that allows us to do that, so we're going to take advantage of that. So we're going to wait until these guys move one more time. We need to take a Cook's Disguise and 
we need to uh, take the poisonous fish. So grabbing the poisonous fish, and just to show you guys exactly what opportunity that we are doing, so you're not um, confused. Where is the poisonous fish one? Right here. So we're waiting till this guard right here moves. Just cook. We're gonna grab the knife. You need the knife in order to do the poisonous fish. The fish is going to be in the little cupboard room. You have to grab this knife. It will not work without it. Alright, sometimes this can be a little bothersome. Alright, good. Get in there quickly before he comes in, and we're just in time. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, anyone there? Alright, we got him. Take his disguise. You will need to take his disguise, or else you will not be able to do the poison fish. Again, he picked up a knife, made sure he didn't pick it up. Now, the first kill is pretty much set up. Don't forget to watch out for the camera again when you're exiting here. Alright. So now we just have to wait to set up for the second target. The first target's pretty much practically already done. This is the part that will take a little bit of time, but you do also have to watch out for him as he can sometimes screw things up. So make sure you keep an eye on where he is around the level so you don't, you know, obviously get screwed up. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming into the bathroom here and we're going to be taking out the next... He's not a target, but he is an opportunity that we need to take out in order to be able to get to the next target. We're going to throw a knife in the corner. We're going to have him come in. And then as soon as we're done with that, no one else comes into the bathroom. We can exit the bathroom. Go back to where the uh, opportunity here is and then we can take out the final but remember you have to watch out for this guy here as he can be a bothersome a little bit so but at least as of right now it's just a matter of waiting a little bit um, get to know the level get to know the map because it really is a pretty cool level to uh, to learn so as you can see she's coming out of the yoga class right now here in just a second and our target that we need to knock out is going to be coming out into the bathroom here in just a second as well. There he is right there. He's going to be coming back up, so don't worry. And that is, of course, uh, what we're going to track. So we can go ahead and track it. Everything just seems to line up perfectly for this type of kill, so... Our target's going to be heading into the... Oh, right, he's coming in now, so we want to hurry. Remember, you have to watch out for that guy right there. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. And here we go. So wait until this guy on the right is not on the right, or else they said. Uh, you won't be able to pull it off. All right, our target is already ready for the kill, so we need to hurry up. She is about ready to enter now, so we've already got the second objective uh, ready for us. So all we're going to do is grab his disguise, and we will be able to continue on to the next section. But we cannot grab his disguise right now because, obviously, 
you have to be the cook in order to be able to poison with the fish. So we're waiting for her to finish her conversation. If you skip the cutscene in the beginning, it will actually be a little bit faster, but here you have to wait just a little bit. But as I said, this is not a speed run. This is a guide to show you how to do two of the unique kills. Mr. Jason Portman, please yeah, come to the hospital and... Thank you, the service has just been exquisite. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. That was for Mr. Jason Portman. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. So that is Jason. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. Portman, whatever his name is, he's the guy that we're doing. So right now we're just waiting for her to come in. Make sure you don't serve this to anybody else except for the target, of course. I don't think you need to worry Wondering if she's heading this way or not. Yep, she is. All right, we are here. We are finally doing it. Here we go. Sweet. She takes a little bit of time, but. This is all so standard. Um, excuse me. Could I ask you for some fugu? Excuse me. Would you like to try out delicious sushi? Freshly prepared, of course. It's the only way you can get her to eat the fish. I knew you would come around eventually. Good for you. I hope you like it. My colleague is a straight arrow. Me, I say it's good to live dangerously. You took the words right out of my mouth. Mmm, yes. Mm, that's exactly right. Hey, what's cooking? <laughs> Some poisonous fish, that's what's cooking. Alright, so she's pretty much just going to walk a little bit, then she's going to fall and die, but we can wait to see it. We're in no rush. And there you go. Don't worry about the body found, of course, guys. Target you down. already know that it's now a poisonous it's kill, which is the next to retire. And as I said, I had already set up. Make sure you still have your knife, because you will need the knife for distractions. And it is time to continue on. Ah, oh, Mr. Portman. Perfect timing. Follow me to the consultation room, if you please. You must be eager to see the new you. So eager. Gentlemen, Mr. Portman is with me. No need to bother him with unnecessary security measures. I hope you're holding up all right. I read the latest test results that Kai published on the internal network. You're in good shape, Mr. Portman. Might want to cut back on the sake, but otherwise you're doing well. Should be able to go back home real soon. You're going to see where we're going to actually be able to escape as well, down there. You're in good hands, Mr. Portman. Gama is such an incredible place. The medical facilities are beyond anything I've ever seen in the world. Well, with the exception of perhaps Kronstadt HQ or Ether's R&D facility in Johannesburg. So I'm going to let everything kind of play out because it's actually pretty fun. We've got a new yoga instructor here, JB. Boy, he can stretch like a rubber band. Never seen anything quite like it. If you're feeling sore and the meds aren't doing it for you, you should really go see him. But right now, we're free to move around this area as this character. We can follow the doctor, we cannot follow the doctor. It's really up to us right now, but I want to show you, I want to give you as much story as possible, and I, I think it's, it's hilarious what's about to happen, so... Okay, Mr. Portman, your surgeon is in here. He should be ready for your checkup. Have a nice day. Smart way to get inside, Mr. Portman. 47. Thank you for well done. If you can just sit down for a moment, I'll get started right away. So, let's have a look at you, Mr. Portman. Be still as I remove the bandages. Oh, oh my. It's, it's... It's astonishing. Not only are you... The spitting image of Helmut Kruger, the, 
the swelling has completely subsided and there's not a trace of bruising. If I didn't know any better, I'd, I'd say you'd never undergone surgery. It's... it's perfect. It's simply perfect. Just... I'm, I'm sorry. This is, uh... this is very emotional for me. So we're going to take his disguise. Now, don't be alarmed. They cannot see through this. Nobody will be able to see you hide the body. And now we are the surgeon. So why do you need the surgeon's disguise? Well, because the surgeon's disguise is going to make it so you can get into the main room. There's only one way to get down to the, the stairs that I know of, and that's the best method to use, so... So we are going to head down. Now there are so many different ways to kill, um, to kill this guy. How are you, doctor? So the best way that we're going to be able to do this right now is to come over here. I'm sure that there's other methods and there's other ways to go, but this is the one that I've been doctor, able to find. right this way. Sneak through here. Go down. Remember, we have that neuro chip, and this is where we're going to use it. Hey, so you're the curator's research aide, right? Let me guess. You want to know about medical trial? Oh, so it is true. The guy's had a mood altering neuro chip implanted in his brain. So, so how does it work? Uh, does it work? Sorry, I'm just going to have to wait for my research paper. I'm following the trial closely, and with a little luck, he'll be the basis for my doctorate. All I can say is, I've got a really interesting bit of insight into his mental state. Fine. Fine. Dr. Katashi Ito, also known as the curator, is participating in some sort of medical trial. Interesting. The curator oversees the hospital's organ storage facility and surely has access to Soda's donor heart. I suggest you locate the Research Assistance Report 47 and find out what this neural implant is for. Could prove useful. Wait till they're both on one uh, side. I don't know. But it's Whoa. So, this is uh, where you can do a few things. Let's say you were seen by a camera in this area. Get rid, uh, destroy the evidence if you want. That way you're never caught. Go ahead and get out your neurochip device and increase the meds. Oh my! This space! The colors! Oh, all the shapes! It's beautiful! Exactly as it needs to be! A oh, place for everything and everything in its proper place! Oh, why haven't I noticed before? I need to share this with my babies. That is the right-sided donor heart destined for sodas. This is what he sold out the ICA for. Bringing joy to the world now, 47. Well, let's see where this takes him, shall we? Ah yes, we're the mad doctor. And this is how you can kill the target without even have to go into him whatsoever. One for the history books. The sodas on the operating table. And no hope of getting a second right-sided heart in time, you have effectively killed him without laying a hand on him. This should be a clear message to anyone considering following in his footsteps. That's both targets down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. And as right, ladies and gents, we are done here. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. I will play the cinematic for y'all. Mm -hmm. I heard him complain about it on the phone. 
Thank you so much for watching, and uh, let's check out how we did after the cinematic. Miss Burnwood. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICA look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment, but he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... <laughs> we are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This... <laughs> this is maintenance. Ladies and gents, that concludes season one of Hitman 2016. Such an amazing season. So looking forward to what they're going to be able to come up with for the next season. So let's see how we did, of course. Um, we pretty much have already unlocked all of that stuff already as we were practicing Snake, the level. Snake. <laughs> Snake. Um, yeah, so I'm waiting for the, uh, the rating to come up. We know what we did. Um, there we go. All right, so we completed it in 16 minutes and 20 seconds. Total score of 159. We'll go ahead and look at the leaderboards. Um, I'm not worried about score or anything like that. Uh, whoa. Oh, shit. Wow, that just got me first place. The, it's already released, so people are already playing it. I had no idea that that right there would get me first place. Obviously, someone's going to come in do it way faster and that's how they're gonna get first place so I will cherish and relish this moment the game is already released 
So that is pretty cool in my opinion. Always love being number one on the leaderboards, even when I don't try. Uh, I'm not about speed, I'm about having fun and showing you as much of the level as possible. So we completed a few of the challenges, uh, a few of the assassination attempts. Um, obviously we got uh, Silent Assassin. There's all so much more that we're going to be able to accomplish and achieve. Thank you to everybody for all the love and support. Please, hopefully you left a like on the video and you commented what your favorite Hitman game has been so far or what your favorite Hitman episode of the 2016 version has been. Thank you guys so much for the love and support, and of course I will see you all on the next video where we will have the suit only, as well as some more challenges. Peace out. Bitches!